The story of Julio Santana. This story is really unsettling. Let's find out. Julio Santana was one of Brazil's most notorious hitmen, known for his ruthless tactics and deadly precision. He is considered by the Brazilians as the deadliest hitman in history, as he killed over 492 people officially. Let's get into the details of how he started this all and where he is right now. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Let's start by talking about the early life of this killer. Julio Santana's early life was marked by poverty and hardship. He was born in 1958 in the small town of Pocos, in the state of Bahia, Brazil. Santana was the fourth of six children, and his family struggled to make ends meet. When Santana was just six years old, his father abandoned the family, leaving them to fend for themselves. His mother, who was illiterate and had limited job opportunities, worked long hours as a seamstress to provide for her children. Due to this growing up, Santana was often on the streets, where he was exposed to violence and crime. He dropped out of school at a young age and began working odd jobs to help support his family. In his teenage years, Santana moved to Sao Paulo, Brazil's largest city, in search of better opportunities. However, he soon found himself caught up in the city's criminal underworld. Santana started his criminal career as a small-time criminal, involved in thefts and robberies. His involvement in crime escalated over time, and he eventually became a hitman, working for various crime bosses in Brazil. His reputation as a skilled and reliable killer quickly spread, and he became one of the most notorious hitmen in Brazil's criminal underworld. He was known for his precision and ability to kill without leaving any evidence behind. How was he able to go about killing so many people without a shred of evidence left behind? So Santana's preferred method of killing was using a silencer equipped firearm, which is what made his murders difficult to detect. He would often wait for hours or even days for the perfect opportunity to strike his target. In some cases, he would even pretend to be a delivery man or a tourist to get close to his victim. One of Santana's most high-profile jobs was the assassination of Paulo Cesar Farias, a Brazilian businessman and political advisor. Farias was a key figure in Brazil's political scene and was widely believed to be involved in corruption scandals. Santana was hired to kill him and his girlfriend, Susana Marcolino, in a luxurious beach house in Maceo in 1996. Santana was eventually arrested and convicted of the murders, which we will discuss further ahead. Despite the heinous nature of his crimes, Santana was admired by many in the criminal underworld for his professionalism and efficiency. He was known for being a reliable and loyal hitman who would never back out of a job or betray his employers. Julio Santana was arrested for the murders of Paulo Cesar Farias and Susana Marcolino in June 1996 in Maceo, a city in the northeastern state of Alagoas, Brazil. The police investigation into the murders was lengthy and complex, involving wiretaps, surveillance, and the examination of physical evidence. The authorities eventually discovered that Santana was involved in the murders and had been hired by Farias' business partner, Pedro Collar de Mello. Santana was arrested in November 1996, along with several other suspects, including Pedro Collar de Mello. He was eventually convicted and sentenced to 39 years in prison for his role in the murders. He also faced several other charges related to his involvement in other crimes. Santana's arrest and subsequent conviction were a significant blow to Brazil's criminal underworld. His reputation as a skilled and reliable hitman made him a valuable asset to many crime bosses, and his arrest and conviction sent a message that even the most notorious criminals could be brought to justice. While in prison, Santana had a life-changing experience and became a born-again Christian. He spent his time reading the Bible, preaching to his fellow inmates, and writing a book about his life as a hitman and his journey to redemption. Santana's book, titled Julio Santana, Confessions of a Hitman, became a bestseller in Brazil and was later adapted into a television series. After his release from prison in 2010, Santana began working as a pastor and dedicating his life to helping others turn away from a life of crime and find redemption through faith. He founded the Freedom and Life Ministry, which focuses on helping former inmates reintegrate into society and stay on the path of righteousness.
Anyway, this wraps up our video for today. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel while you're at it.